Con it says we're live. I'm just gonna check real fast and make sure we are live. Um say something, Shamar. Shalom, shalom. Say something. All right, we're good. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Rams, the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp. All right, GMS keep pushing, GMS prepare for glory. Back with another lesson through the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Bashai? First and foremost, before we go any further, we got to give all praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how? Yeah, how? By Hashem. By Hashem. Yeah, how was shy? Yeah, was shy. By Hashem, Rakaku Dash. By Hashem, Rakaku Dash. Done. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible. I hope you're well. Okay, another shall have one order sincere items throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with diligence and sincerity. <clears throat> All right, as you see the uh the title on the screen, repent from your idols, Jake, Israel. All right. And, th and this is uh just gonna bring out some precepts on you know on why people don't need to be worshiping these idols out here, you know, because you know, Jake. You know, really don't know that they're worshiping idols, man. You know, that's why the Lord set up his men, start where I had apostles and elders, a great millstone down the brothers like ourselves, to let Jake know when they're worshiping idols and when they're going off. You know? So uh if you don't have anything, bring me Exodus 20. I'm gonna start at the top. Baba Kasha. <clears throat> this is Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Yeah. And the and the most high spake all these words saying. I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm hmm So look, the Heavenly Father brought us out of the land of Egypt, man. That hardcore bondage, captivity, slavery we were serving. All right, the Lord delivered us from that, man. All right, it wasn't any false idols or gods, right? Any graven images that saved us, right? It was the Most High. Go ahead. It says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And look, and that's a commandment, right? That was given to us, right, on, 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 on tablets, on stones, through the hands of Moses, of Moses. When you read the book of Leviticus, the 26th chapter, it tells you that he gave us the lost statute commandments at the bottom of Mount Sinai, man. Okay? Um, let me see something. Uh, read, that, read that verse again. It says, Exodus 20 and 3, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thou shalt have no other gods, man. You know, so you out here worshiping, right? Cesare Borgia was a lot of people worship, which is uh, the, uh, 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 Jesus Christ, because that's not our Lord and Savior's name. All right, our Lord and Savior was a Hebrew. All right, so he had a Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai, which means he's the liver or savior of his people, Matthew 1 and 21. All right. Our people worship that white image, man. You know, that was beat into them. But the Lord said, What? Have no other gods before him. See, the true, the true savior looks like so-called uh, uh, a so-called black man, man. Okay, it tells you that in the book of Revelation, man. <clears throat> okay. Uh let me see here. I'm looking for a precept. Um, let me see here. Yeah, give me Psalms 81 and 8. Just to back that up, Bubba Gashar. Oh. Psalms 81 and 8. It's Psalms chapter 81, verse 8. <clears throat> it says, Hear, O my people. And I will testify unto thee, O Israel. Yeah, so the Lord's God, people, it says here, it says here what? My people, says, the word my is possessive, right? So the Lord's people is not all these nations, man. It's the children of Israel, first and foremost, all right? Go ahead. It says here, O my people, I will testify unto thee, O house of Israel, mm -hmm. if thou wilt hearken unto me. And it says, 
there shall no strange there shall no strange god be in thee neither shall thou worship any strange god yeah man because jake is good for that jake will worship any everything up under the sun man you know when uh moses uh 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 went up to get the um the commandments what did jake do jake was ready to put aaron down right because they needed something to worship man you know they missed them guys that was worshiping in egypt man you know and what did they have uh uh aaron do man melt melt them down a a, a golden calf man to worship man you know aaron told him what give me all your gold your your earrings your rings your necklaces and melt it down and, and and they wanted to uh wanted to do that man or well, they were gonna put Aaron to death but that's our people though right they just gotta have something to worship man but the Lord said don't do that you know he delivers out of the land of hardcore bondage he's gonna deliver us again man Lord willing be a part of that uh, uh that number to be delivered okay out of this captivity okay according to root three and eight we are yet this day in our captivity Okay. Go ahead. He says, verse 10, I am Yahweh thy power, which brought thee out of Egypt. Yep. Op open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Go ahead. My people would not hearken. My people would not hearken to my voice. Yeah. Just like uh, the Lord told Ezekiel, they didn't listen to me. But I'm gonna still send you out there, you know. The voice of the Lord is the prophets, man. That's how the Lord speaks to his people through his prophets, through his men. Okay, once again, start what I had apostles and elders of great millstone on down the brothers like ourselves, man. And Jake still refused it, they still refuse to take heed. But it's gonna be a judgment for that, man. This is verse 11. My people will not hearken unto me unto my voice mm -hmm. and israel would none of me yeah it's israel didn't want none of the, of, uh, the most high man you know they didn't want none of you how about shim y'all shout up to this very day they rather worship wood and stone beast woman okay money matter of fact get um because that's big among jake man you know materialistic things money car clothes and holes get uh matthew 6 and 24 real fast barbara shot <clears throat> this is matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Mm -hmm. it says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate one and love the other yeah no man can serve two masters man right because you're gonna either hate one more than you're gonna hate you're gonna lean more towards one than the other man to the point you're gonna hate the other one man and we read in Exodus, the Lord said, have no other gods before him, man. All right. Go ahead. Or else he will hold to <laughs> the one and despise the other. Yeah, he will hold he, to one and despise the other. Go ahead. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. Yeah, you can't worship the most high and, and mammon, man. All right. The God of money, which is what's promoted here in America. Right. Through all the songs, the videos, what they push on TV, and what did Jake do? They Jake is the first ones. They they look, they chasing the money, man. You know, how many uh memes have you seen with women, you know, on a bed just saying, "Just give me the money. I don't need a man. Just give me the money." You know, what's the real reason why Jake, you know, uh uh uh, uh worship money? Because they know the things that come with it, man, which is a pure wickedness. But I think we have to repent and turn back from that, man. Um, I got something real fast. Matter of fact, um, go back to that Psalms 81. And um, matter of fact, we was done on that. Hold um hold uh Psalms 135 and 5. And I'm gonna bring something out real fast while you grabbing that. This is idle in my Bible dictionary. It says a false god. An image or figure regarded as an object of worship, man. You know, the Virgin Mary, <clears throat> which our people have, you know, they have the little, um, you know, the candles, 
you know, the, the picture of the Virgin Mary, the rosary beads and all this crap, and they're bowing down to that image, right? You got people in 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 into uh um uh, um you know being Muslim when they're bowing down what seven times a day, something to that effect, worshiping okay, a false god, you know. Our people in the Kemet being Moors, all that nonsense, man. You know, uh, these uh, idols, the cross, the unk, okay, animals, elephants, you know, all types of things our people worship. You want to chime in, bro? You know, make your move. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Come on, come but like on. you said, they be worshiping uh, any and everything pretty much, though. They woman, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And look, even even um even like you know the the uh the jewelry that they have, you know, they worship that. Jake will lose their life over a chain, man. You know, but they won't put their life on the line for the Lord. You know, it's crazy, man. Um, I'm gonna finish this out. It says image of figure, image or figure regarded as an object of worship and that cross is a big one amongst our people man you know our people wear that cross like you know that that's the only protection they need man when that's all that's when that's actually bringing them closer to death man because the lord's not with that man you know it says matter of fact i got some precepts down here and um we'll grab we'll grab we'll grab two of them uh what you got right now you wanted Psalms uh, 135 and 5? Come on, go ahead, bring it out. <clears throat> it's Psalms chapter 135, verse 5. For I know that Yahweh Bashim Shai is great and that our power, I mean, that our Lord is above all gods. There you go. Our, our Lord is above all gods. I mean, our Lord created the heavens and the earth, created you people, man. Right? Created you people. You know? And look, matter of fact, um, I'm going to grab a quick precept. Well, our people turn things upside down. This is um, Romans chapter uh, 1. This is uh, Romans 1, and I started 21. It says, because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, Right? Neither were thankful when the Lord delivered them out of the hands of Pharaoh. Our people weren't thankful, man. You know, <clears throat> they didn't care about Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Cause what they did when they went into the wilderness, man. Come on, Shalom, servant of the Most High. Ezekiel 14 and 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus said the Lord, how repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away, turn your faces from all your abominations. Because this is an abomination, man. If you worship my idols, that's, an, that's a wicked, filthy act in the eyes of the Lord, man. And we're uh, 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 persuading our people to repent, turn back sorrowfully to the God of the Bible for doing that, man. You know? Come on, the water, bro. It says um, back in Romans 1 and 21, because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, neither was thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts were darkened, Right? Verse 22, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. It says, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God to an image like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. And that's what our people did, man. You know? They started worshiping animals, man. You know? And look, look at Gad and Reuben. You know? Look at the totem pole, man. You know? Look at all those... Uh, 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 what you call them, man? No, um, those guys that, that uh, you know, claim they African. Uh, I think uh, it's called. You know what I'm talking about? I can't. I yeah, can't it's like that Pan Africanism or something. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. no, nah, there's a name for it. You know, you know, the, the worship the uh, the gods okay. of the heaven. They can okay. say that. Yeah, yeah, into that, into that stuff, man. You know. Verse 24 says, where, back in Romans 1 and 24, it says, wherefore the Most High 
also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, dishonoring their own bodies between themselves. But that's going to something else. But most high gave them up to these things, man. And look, you want to worship these idols? Look, go ahead, man. Okay, you want to worship uh, animals and beasts? Look, go ahead, man. You know, Kim it. That's right. The water, bro. The water, uh, um, serving the most high, Azah. All right, it was Kim it, man. You know, our people are heavy into that, man. Worshiping uh, 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 human figures with uh, dog faces, okay, with bird faces, all right, and eagle wings and stuff like that. You know, Jake is heavy in that, man. You know, if you're out here worshiping uh, uh, into Buddhism, you know, <coughs> I knew a Jake that had Buddha statues all over his crib, man. And this was before I came into truth. But, you know, I got like, you know, you know, creeped out. You know what I'm saying? When I went into his crib, man, it's like I got an eerie feeling. Okay. And that's because it was nothing but wickedness dwelling in there, man. It do have idols all over his crib, man. You know? All types of spirits going around, man. You know? So go back to what you have, bro. This was um <clears throat> Psalms 135, verse 5. Yep. <clears throat> For I know that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is great. Mm-hmm. And that our and that our Lord is above all gods. Well, you want to verse six too? Uh, what does it say? It says, "Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that He did in the heaven and in nah, the earth." That's it. That's it. So the Lord is above all these false idols, man. All these uh, 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 false gods that you read about, that you learn about in school. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Zeus and, you know, all these uh, 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 made up gods, man. All right. The Hindu goddess Shiva, all them, them, them false deities, man. The Lord's above all of them. Brother Zai got another precept on the comment board. Servant of the Most High. It says, they have turned aside quickly out of the way which I command them, right? By link going off to these uh, 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 false idols. It says, they have made them a molten calf, right? And worship it and have sacrificed unto and said, these be thy gods. And that's what our people said. O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. So they gave the praise and fame to an idol. It's a living power, the true living power that brought them out of that land, man. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> uh, was you holding anything? No. Give me, um, give me Psalms 135. Go back to Psalms 135 and bring me, uh, go down to uh, verse 15 and hold, um, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 25. Baba Gisha. All right. Go ahead. This is, um, <clears throat> this is Psalms 135, verse 15. Okay. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold. Right. The works of the works of men's hands mm -hmm. they have mouths but they yeah they have mouths but they speak not that's right look at them look at them statues man look at uh what's that uh that statue man um i know um what's that man that, that, that not not buddha but it's another one man that um moab be worshiping man can't think of the name of it, but they uh just started taking them down, man. Let me see real fast, see if I can find it. Uh let me see here. Nah, it's not coming up. Um Let me see here. 
Yeah, it's not coming. I'm not gonna worry about it. But you know, <clears throat> of, of, of silver, right? Of gold, you know, they 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 um like we just read, you know, in Exodus, they they molted down the calf, you know, molting down their 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 gold and their silver, right? We're really the gold into a calf, man, you know, and worshiped it and gave all the glory and honor to an idol, man, instead of the living power that delivered them, man. Go ahead. It says, um, verse 16, they have mouths, but they speak not. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at look at the idols, man. They have mouths on them, right? But they can't speak, you know, because there's no living breath in them, man. You know, they were created by man. Go ahead. Eyes have they, but they see not. Uh-huh. They have ears, but they hear not. Mm-hmm. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Yeah, neither is there any breath in their mouth, man. Jake can't realize this, man. Jake don't understand this, man. You know? But that's why the scriptures say, hey, you know, uh, blessed are your eyes and your ears for you see and you hear. You understand. And look, those things are, are dead, man. And they, they can bring no profit to you, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, um, <clears throat> they, they that make them are like unto them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so is everyone that trusted in them. Yeah, they dead, man. They're dead. They're not living, right? So are they that worship them, right? You're in the congregation of the dead, like these other nations, okay? Instead of worshiping the true and living power, man. And that's what we're telling our people to do, man. Put those things down, man. If you got those things in your crib, take them out, man. You know? Uh, was that it on that? Sorry. All right. Uh, bring me that uh, Deuteronomy 725. And while you bringing that, and brother, I got another one, Exodus 18, 11. Now I know the Lord is great, is greater than all gods. For in the in the thing where they dealt proudly, he was above them. That's right, man. The Lord was above all these gods, man. Our people still dealt proudly in these idols, man. Like the like the idols are the ones that saved them. The idols is the one that you know uh, 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 make sure they had everything their wants and needs, man. When it was your how about shimmy, I was shy. What? This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25. Uh-huh. The graven images of their God shall <clears throat> the graven images of their God shall ye burn with fire. Yeah, shall ye burn with fire, man. That's what you're supposed to do with them, man. Now you know it depends on where you live at. <clears throat> you know you can't do that. Uh man, my battery running low, man. We got to wrap it up pretty quick. Um you know, you can't, you know, start fires in certain parts of, of, of the city where you stay at. But, you know, throw it out. Get out of your crib. Throw it in the trash and have the trash man pick it up, man. Get rid of it. Go ahead. Shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't desire the silver or the gold that is on them, man. Go ahead. Nor take it unto thee, mm -hmm. lest, lest thou be a... Lest thou be snared therein. Yeah. For it, is, for it is an abomination to <clears throat> yeah, how would thy power? Yeah, it's a, it's a wicked, you know, filthy act. It's an abomination to the Lord thy power, man. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou bring in an abomination unto thy house, into mm -hmm. thy house, lest thou be cursed. I mean, let that be a cursed thing, cursed thing like, like it. it. Right. You're not supposed to bring these things in your house, man, or you're going to be cursed just like it, man. You're going to be cursed just like that thing, man, that idol. You wonder why things are going terrible, you know, you know, things in your house, you know. Get those idols out of there, man. Those are wicked in the eyes of the Lord. That's a wicked and filthy act, man. You're supposed to hate it, as the scripture is going to say. Can you read it? But thou shalt utterly detest it, mm -hmm. and thou shalt utterly abhor it. 
Mm-hmm. For it is a cursed thing. Yeah, you're supposed to uh, uh, separate yourself from it. You're supposed to hate it. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. And uh, let's end it off on, um, give me Joshua 24. Try to make this quick, uh, for this uh, uh, thing right now. I don't have my uh, charger on me. Matt, uh, Joshua 24 and 14. This is Joshua ch- chapter 24, verse 14. Yeah. <clears throat> now, therefore, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai mm-hmm. and serve him in sincerity and yep. in truth. Yeah, so now is the and- time to fear the Heavenly Father. Okay, what well, the Lord visiting this place, man, right? Definite instruction around every corner, right? But yet our people are not fearing you. How about Shimia was shot? The country is shutting down. But yet our people are not fearing you. How about Shimia was shot? Pests, diseases, famines running rampant, but no one's fearing you. How about Shimia was shot? Now is the time, man. Go ahead. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood. Which were idols, false images. Go ahead. And in Egypt, and serve ye, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yeah, now is the time to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Put off your wicked acts, man, of serving these things. They have brought you no profit, right? They have done nothing good in your life, man. Okay? And they're not going to do any good to you, man. As long as you worship them, you're going to be a cursed thing like it, as the scripture says. Go ahead. <clears throat> and if it seem evil unto thee to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Mm-hmm. Choose you this day which ye will serve. Yeah, because this Whether seems evil. This seems evil in the eyes of a lot of people. I, what, what do you mean I can't I can't wear a Buddha necklace around my neck? What do you mean I can't wear a cross around my neck? Well, we just read those are, 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 are wicked, man. You know? Well, I don't want to serve a God like that. Then that's what our people say. So if it seems evil unto you to serve the Most High, choose you this day. If you're just not hearing this truth, hey, look, man, you got to choose. They don't have all day because the scriptures say in Sirach, the fifth chapter, make no tarrying and turn to the Lord and put it off a day to day. For suddenly should a wrath for the Lord come forth and in our security, thou should be destroyed, man. Go ahead. He says, he says, choose you, choose you this day whom ye will serve, mm-hmm. whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood mm-hmm. or the gods or the gods of the Amorites mm-hmm. in the land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we mm-hmm. will serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what the elect is going to do, man. You know, they're going to repent from their idols, right? And they're going to they're gonna serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <coughs> and that's you know, you should be getting your household in order. Those that got families, man, you know, get your house in order. Take the idols out. Who gives a damn what the kids say, what your woman say? Get them out the house, man, you know, and serve your house by shipping out with shy, man. All right. So um, I'm going to read one last one. This is Matthew. Chapter 4, verse 17, it says, From that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach and say, Now, when did Yahweh Shah preach? Over 2,000 years ago, right? It says, Repent, turn back sorrowfully. From what? One of the things of bigger my people was these idols. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And how do we know the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Because we've been measuring the times, as it tells you in 2 Ezra's ninth chapter. And prophecy is being fulfilled. So now is the time to repent and turn back to Heavenly Father and leave off from your idol worship, man. You know? Any closing statements, bro? Um, yeah, just like we reiterating earlier, uh, get your house in order. Time to turn back and get rid of those idols. Time to come back to the Heavenly Father. Con, con. You know, so with that, Lord, what is edifying for the spirit and the power of your how about you all shut? Before we go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. 
Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, and we will. I know that's true, the sincere accuracy of the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.